Joining us now from Washington is Republican National Committee Chairman Michael Steele. Mr. Steele, good morning. Hey, good morning, Harry. A lot of uh, conservatives around the country feel like the public option, which is still very much on the table and the president is going to talk about tonight, is socialism. Do you think the public option is socialism? Yes, I do. And quite frankly, I think a lot more people believing that there's more to this than, than meets the eye. And, and the reality of it is, you know, I just don't understand this idea that somehow people think that the federal government can enter into a marketplace and compete with private industry. That goes counter to everything that we know about how markets work and the role that the government plays in those markets. Mm -hmm. So the idea that you're going to take an institution like, you know, Department of Health and uh, Human Services and put that put them in competition with uh, private insurers to me doesn't make sense if if you have an insurance problem with one insurance company dominating a particular market then break that up there are incentives and disincentives that can be created that would create greater competition but the idea that the federal government mm -hmm. can come in and all of a sudden be uh, the same as all state in providing insurance is a ridiculous notion and that's the problem here right. the people of this country have figured this out and they're like you know, this plan makes no sense. And after 26 speeches and 12 resets on this health care plan, right. tonight, in my view, is just one more opportunity to tell us what we already know. Okay, except polls would say, say, say the opposite of that. Here's the question, though. No, if, the polls don't. Harry, I don't, know, yeah, what no, poll, no, Harry, no, I don't po know what polls you're looking at. The polls don't say the opposite of that. <laughs> the polls say they don't really know what is in this health care plan or what the public exactly. option is. Exactly, and, and what they do know, they don't like, which is why this okay. thing has been tanking for the last... <laughs> three weeks. That's All right, my let me point. ask you this. Let me ask you this. If the public option is socialism, then what is Medicare? Medicare is a government run program that is not that is not uh, that people doing overwhelmingly that well. think works pretty well for them. No, Harry, come on. I mean, is, is, how often do we have to do another reset on Medicare because it's, it's in default or, or running out of money? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the reality of it is, you know, this is something that but was took a say, year and a half to put in place. I don't want place. this public option, but don't mess with my Medicare. You know that. Yeah, I know that. And, and, and that's now a part of the system here. My only point is, why do we have to upend one-sixth of our nation's economy? to fix what the president has now because redefined. Because that one-sixth of our economy as, left to go re, as it is will has, bankrupt that has us. Re, that has redefined one-sixth of our economy to fix what he has redefined mm -hmm. as a insurance problem. If this is a matter of getting a certain number of people insurance, then mm -hmm. let's work to get them into the insurance market. There are ways to do that. You can create a in, in situation with respect to pre-existing conditions, uh, address that issue th right. through portability. You don't have to mm -hmm. uh, up in the entire system. To do this comprehensively just is not the way this should be done, in my view, and in view uh -huh. of a lot of people. All right. Mr. Steele, as always, a pleasure to chat with you this morning. All Thanks. Right. All right.